When I was 10 years old, in the sixth grade, I just recently got a new laptop. I was compelled to enjoy and grasp everything possible on that laptop just for some fun. So I started off with making homemade videos, or uh, vi visual presentations, or uh, doing research for schoolwork, etc. When I finally came to the point where I wanted to watch all my favorite TV shows and movies, I went on to this site where all the movies and TV shows you could ever think of was available. So I tapped on my favorite TV show and saw it streaming. It was only about two minutes later, my laptop just suddenly froze and hung. I was astonished at that moment, thinking if that was even possible. And then obviously I had to tell my parents and eventually get grounded. And I tried everything that was possible in that situation to hop out of it. For example, believe it or not, I told my parents that when I opened it, it was already in that state. And I tried keeping it in my sister's room so that when she'd open it, all the attention would automatically be diverted to her. But all these excuses just weren't good enough to convince my parents. So I ended up conf confessing and getting grounded. I felt disturbingly confused and uneducated in that scenario as I forgot how careful you have to be before exploring the internet. This type of hacking that I experienced is called denial of service, where a hacker floods a selected site, your network, or certain servers with tons of traffic so that the computer cannot handle that much and would end up getting flooded or in a critical condition. Depending on the intensity of the flooding, the computer could temporarily crash, and all you have to do to shift it back to its original condition is reboot it, but in unfortunate cases, it's merely impossible for the computer to sustain itself, resulting in an irreversible condition. That could mean the end of the computer. This hack can be performed by anyone with just a few hours of practice from the right source. This is when I learned that technology is more dangerous than we think it is, and there's so many ways a hacker can perform to hack people in such horrible ways. Just like the denial of service, there are over 500 more ways of hacking various devices. After this incident, I was eager to determine the amount of hacking activity going on these days globally. And I found out that hackers are capable of obtaining bank information, PIN numbers, passwords, and can target huge companies. And that's not it. Some hackers not only hack for money, but also target individual people. There could be celebrities, known associates, and even random people in some cases. Now let's talk about the other most frequently used easy and practical types of hacks performed by hackers. The term known as phishing is one of the most common and easy ways to steal sensitive information off the victim's social media accounts. The information includes passwords, private pictures, private chats, etc. That could be used to threaten or expose you in some cases. In phishing, the attacker generates an almost identical website to the original one and manipulates the victim into typing in their password and username that can then be identified by the hackers. And there goes the, the victim's account. Let's take Facebook, for example. You're using the internet to log into Facebook. You just type Facebook and all the possible domains launch. But instead of clicking on facebook.com, you click on facebook.in, or maybe Facebook, with, but with a lowercase c. Just like this, there are many ways of generating a virtually accurate representation of the original website. After clicking on the fake website, which looks precisely the same as Facebook's original, you type in your username and password that is then stored by the attacker. Now, the only possible solution to this type of hacking is to be aware of what you search and determining whether you have the right address to the original website. Or you could just save the time and stress by downloading the app, which cannot go wrong. Ways like ratting, in which the attacker sends a link, just waiting to be opened by the victim, and if open, will result in a virus and the hacker obtaining, once again, sensitive information from your files. But in this case, it's not only information from your social media accounts, but your whole device. But then again, you have to look at the fact that getting fished is more likely than getting ratted due to the chances of you being a targeted victim, and more importantly, you falling for such traps, as it's much easier to open the wrong website than it is to open an unknown link sent by an unknown user. But in some cases, like I mentioned before, you can be targeted by a known associate. Like this, the list can go on, is like I said, there are over 500 different ways to get hacked. But the whole purpose of the speech is to make you aware that the internet can be menacing and could result in unfortunate incidents that can be prevented if followed by the basic cautious guidelines. Thank you.